Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another, probably the last Project KV video. Guess what happened? Project KV is shutting down. All right, so you can see they released a post three hours ago, and apparently they've announced that they will be closing it entirely. They will no longer continue working on this particular game. So we're gonna read the official statement and see what they have to say. And of course, read some comments as well because there's plenty of things to take note of this particular title. So Project KV, yes, this game is not going through. Now, in case there are any of you guys that missed my previous video, let's show you guys a little bit of showcase of what this game is all about, right? So I made this video about, uh, let's see, 2nd of September. It's about one week ago now, right? About like a couple of days ago. So this is how the premise of the game is like. So it's very similar to Blue Archive. Keep in mind, it's made by ex-developers of Blue Archive. They used to work in Nexon under the Blue Archive department and they left the company. And then they released so the trailer. Glimpse. All right. So these are the characters right here, you can see. All right. Oh. So we got four characters that okay, were shown. So showing more than... Wait. Wait, that looks like Iroha somewhat, but... She does look like a character from Blue Archive. So uh, this video, right, this PV, you can no longer find it on YouTube. All right, you can no longer find this on YouTube. Uh, you can see right now, if I go to the channel Dynamis One, which is the name of the company, uh, they pretty much unlisted the video. So everything related to Project KV has ever since been taken down, which is very, very odd. So now that they are shutting down, Let's go, let's read the original post right here. So you can see right here, Project KV. Uh, I'm going to read the translated version of this. Notice regarding the cancellation of Project KV, we would like to deeply apologize for the trouble and confusion caused by our company's Project KV. All right, we have seriously considered how to respond to the many concerns and complaints that have arisen due to our shortcomings. In order to avoid causing any further trouble or inconvenience to you all due to our inexperience, we have decided to cancel Project KV. Alright, they decide to just shut it down. I would like to ask all the fans who supported Project KV to be concerned. I apologize for having put you up to a call. We also apologize to the fans of the game that is currently being distributed. We have decided to cancel Project KV and will delete all related materials. So you can no longer find a PV. <laughs> In their official channel, they have since removed it. Uh, from now on, we will continue to work harder to meet your expectations. Dynamis one. So yeah, you can see uh, this. Uh, they released this on their official X.com. So one is in Japanese and the other one is in Korean, I believe. Right? It's basically the same statement. So here is the truth, right? They mentioned here that they cancelled Project KV. However. I don't think it's that simple. I don't think it's just them decided to cancel. So there is some speculation that Nexon basically tried to sue them or basically send a cease and desist later, which makes more sense, I think, because I don't see why they suddenly decided to, to cancel this project because they have released the PV, they have the characters ready. So why do they decide to cancel it suddenly, right? Most likely, Nexon went in and did something. All right, so uh, again, that's a, just a speculation. There's no proof whatsoever but it seems to be plausible because there's no way they made the game with the voice acting with the pv everything is ready and probably the game is already been almost more than 70 percent done and, and they just decided to cancel it just because some fans are mad at them i doubt that's the that's the reason right so let's have a look at some comments so maybe you'll get a different perspective uh from the fans all together right as expected even if he's a former developer he needs to have a bit more originality now Project KV, all the students right there, seems to have a very similar concept with Blue Archive in terms of them having Hello. So you can see right here, they all have Hello. So this is one thing that you will see a lot of similarity with Blue Archive. However, the character seems to be using swords as opposed to guns. So at least in that aspect, it seems to be entirely different. So this is going to be something that I can see why, from a Blue Archive fan's perspective, it seems like they are trying to piggyback off Blue Archive success, right? They're trying to capitalize on what makes Blue Archive unique. I feel like if it was done by any other company that's not related to ex-developers of Blue Archive, this would have been fine. But because 
it's basically these people have worked on Blue Archive before, they leave and they make this game which has a lot of similar concept. It's a, a bunch of students, right? And they have Hello and the only differences is they are using swords, right? That's pretty much it. And it seems to have a very, very similar concept. There's a chance that this could also be a, like a rejected project in Nexon itself. You can see these are the people that you probably, if you play Blue Archive, you probably have heard of Doremi, Isaku-san, and Mitsukiyo as well, right? These three names are extremely familiar as well. So there's that. It's a shame because they were such great characters. How about a reboot without a headband and with a Japanese style? So people are hoping for that they would try a different approach altogether. I'm sure there were people including me who were looking forward to it, but it was all because of the otakus who made an unnecessary fuss over things that weren't true. I want to say don't mess with me. I wonder if the artist who defected from Blue Archive will be able to return. Yeah, it's up to the company, right? I, I think like at this point it's really difficult. Probably they should just work on a different project altogether and just scrap Project KV altogether and try to make something more original if that's going to be the case. It is unfortunate in some ways but the difficult start meant that Japanese and Korean fans and stakeholders were unable to support the project as it was. So I appreciate the decision to cancel it. Hmm. Okay, this this one more essay right here. Uh, that's right. Even if you are a former developer, it's important to incorporate originality and new elements into your new projects and characters. Uh, I would say this is going to be the best way to move forward, right, with these kind of things by taking advantage of your existing knowledge and experience and adding original elements and new perspectives. You may be able to provide more fresh and appealing content. Being unique will differentiate you from others and increase the chances of being supported by many people. However, going this route means that it's harder for them because like making an original IP is always going to be much more difficult and more risky. I would say the term is going to be riskier because when you can't piggyback Blue Archive, you are probably going to make like an, an entirely new thing and you have to capture an entirely new audience as well. All right, so big news. Uh, the artist Doremi just made a tweet as well. So let's see if you can check it out. So Doremi is one of the person involved in Blue Archive previously and now Project KV. And you can see this person has ever since uh, retweeted or reposted that particular post from Project KV. So let's have a look at what these two posts says uh, one hour ago. So you can see one is in Japanese and one is in Korean. Okay, I believe it's the same thing. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone who has shown, who has cooperated with me, supported me, and shown an interest in me. Although the project has been cancelled, we will continue to work hard to show you a better performance. Thank you for your continued support. So, straight up, uh, I would say this is as good as a tweet as it has to be. That means that they are not going away anytime soon. Dynamis 1 is still going to remain as a company and they will definitely work on a hopefully a better game all right, or a better IP altogether. That is what the fans want and I believe these two are the same thing. Yeah, it seems to be the, the same tweet altogether. And I think this is going to be how it should be, right? And let's see if there's any response here. I love all of the drawings. It's really unfortunate that he, this has happened, but I will continue to support you. Please keep up the great work. All right, that's very good that at least there's some fans still supporting the, the artist, right? Despite the controversy and the drama, the results weren't that good. I am looking forward to your next work. I can feel your gratitude. I will continue to support you. So please do your best in whatever path you take. I really love the Toki that you drew. Yeah, I can't remember who Doremi works on. I remember this is the artist that drew Aru, Aris, maybe Toki as well. And there's definitely a few more. Like, I, I don't really know all the list of the artists in Blue Archive, but definitely if you guys know the list, just feel free to list it down in the comment section below. But yeah, that's pretty much sums up the controversy uh, for the time being. Until we got more news later on, then definitely I'll try to see if uh, we can talk more about this. But for now, Damn, it is a little bit unfortunate that Project KV shutting down. You can no longer access the PV as well. You can see in my official or uh, previous video, right? If I were to click on this, projectkv.co.kr, it brings you to this website, but you can no longer watch the PV for that particular game, right? It's, <laughs> the video is now private now. But hey, let me know what you guys think of this entire controversy. Are you guys upset? Because that's just how things are. Hopefully we'll get more news and see if there's going to be a, a new next project from this particular company, Tadamis One. With that being said, 
that's gonna be it for now. Subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.